Autodesk have now added over 100 connections to further improve design intent while creating steel frame models. Structural consultants can now effectively produce the BIM ready models to level of detail 4 or in the US uh, LOD 300. Additionally, the model can then be transferred to AutoCAD Advanced Steel for full fabrication level documents and machine code for manufacture. As in the previous release, certain connections can be designed to EC3 and checked. So let's take a look at some of these features. So you can see here I have a simple portal frame. And if we now go to the structure ribbon and then over to connections, and I take a look at some connections, let's just have a look at what we've got. Okay, so you'll now see a list of, uh, well, a huge list of over 100 connections that we've now got available. So these connections are modular, and I'd imagine probably in the next release, Autodesk will add even more. But you can now see, it, I think in the previous release, we might have had 22, something like that. And now you can see we have a huge list of connections. So I've added them all across, and just to take you into some of these macros, let's... Uh, Let's spin the model around here. We'll take a look at some of these uh, purling connectors with stays. So, as is, as before in previous releases, you can just select the um, connection and then click on Modify Parameters. And we can work our way through the dialog box. Um, again, it's all modeless, which is quite useful. So, obviously, as you're adding connections, you can um, whiz backwards and forwards and actually see the connection update in real time. Um, now... What this does is this does allow us to uh, produce structural models to a much higher level of detail. So in certain BIM projects, you might be asked for um, LOD3 or, or even LOD4. So you will have to put a lot more detail in. And this is a great way of facilitating that. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the other features with the connections. So if I open up a drawing sheet now, you can see on the drawing sheet here, I've produced um, a couple of... Um, detail views of the connection you'll notice we can now tag the connections as well so in this example here I'm putting off the connection name in this case PCO1 and it's not been calculated now what's quite interesting is you can then uh, schedule those connections and you can actually uh, schedule and see what ones have been checked to codes and which ones haven't been checked to codes so that's actually quite useful again got a little base plate detail up in there and another 3d detail over there so a great improvement there to uh, structural connections.